To view any of the documents that you've imported into the document system, you simply double click. Now I can see the text of this document, and if I make the Retrieve Segments window smaller, I can see more of it. Now everything that you see here in the text file will look just like it did in a word processor, like Word. Um, all of that is the case to the right of these numbers here, which are paragraph numbers. So a lot of the formatting comes over with the import, including here all caps, bold, slightly larger font, here we have italics, and also your spacing will be uh, transformed into this new document. If you want to edit this document, all you have to do is go up and hit the Edit Mode button. This also gives you formatting options. So now you can come in here, change uh, paragraph numbers, maybe there's some typos that you'd like to edit and fix, that you can do as well. And while you're editing, you also have the option of undoing these edits with the Undo button in the toolbar. So I can click Undo and undo all the things that I had changed. When I'm done editing, I simply click the Edit button again, and it goes back into the normal mode. Now, to the left of the text, you will see some new things that MaxQDA inserts, uh, namely these paragraph numbers. So every time there's a hard return, every time you hit the Enter button, uh, a MaxQDA will interpret that as a new paragraph. If you want to change these paragraph numbers, you can do so, like I mentioned, by going into the edit mode. If you hit a hard return, then it'll add a paragraph number. The next column here is for your memos, and the column to the left of that will visualize all of your coding stripes. You also have the option of opening more than one document at a time by right-clicking on the document and choosing to open the document in a new tab. This is nice because it lets you go back and forth very quickly between documents.